like these days, Instagram, mm-hmm. Instagram is like where it's at. It's easier than YouTube, but mm-hmm. you can get paid for, like. Really? Uh, <laughs> why did I start getting off? Edward's ultimate pick, only exclusive on Tea Time with David. If you don't have time, just buy these items and you will never fail. In Korea, they're very much about enhancing, mm. like even if you're using things like glitter and all that, they always, when it comes to like colors and ranges and tones, America's not wanting to be like judgmental. Uh-huh. So they'll be like, oh, you know, this might look good, but you know, whatever you want, like just oh, whatever, okay, okay, whatever okay. makes you happy. But oh. I feel like that. there are a lot of people that uh, have been on my channel that I don't talk to anymore or they don't talk to me or they were just like on my channel just to use me. Oh, I thought we were friends, uh-huh. you know, they made it seem like they were. Hey guys, welcome back to Tea Time with David, where we sit the hottest tea with the hottest people. Hottest. <laughs> uh, we have one of the hottest people here today. Uh, his name's Edward Avila, and uh, would you introduce yourself? Hi. Hi. You just call me Eddie. I'm Eddie. Eddie. I'm here. Spill the tea. Okay. That I forgot. You have some tea here. I'll think of something. Yeah. yeah. I have like a very good set of tea here. I'm fishing for some sponsors, so if you're a tea company, just. Oh, Oslo. Oslo, yeah. There's a variety of tea here. I like blue, so we'll go with Moonwalk. Moonwalk? Okay, what do you think it's gonna taste like? Probably like lavender or something. Would you do the honor of yeah. putting the tea bag inside? Um, we're gonna start with describing yourself in five words. Look at the camera and say one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, like in order? Yeah. The yeah. words? Yeah. Observational, moody? Perfectionist, mm-hmm. caring, covertly narcissistic. What does that even mean? Covert. <laughs> apparently, there's like two types of narcissists. What the ones that are loud, okay, and like are oh, obvious like about it. But Danny Kim. Yeah. I guess that makes you this the the the, the second one, like me, covertly. Oh, why? Why? You're more. It's more like inside. Uh huh. Or like a lot of, up here. Uh huh. I'm not narcissistic. Yeah, that's what they like to say. <laughs> Just there any like episodes on that, or like why do you think yourself is? I feel like most YouTubers are to some degree, especially beauty YouTubers. Oh. Putting out kind of like tutorials and things, mm. you always want like validation from people. Mm. The smallest, you know, when you have like a lot of positive comments, but mm. it's like the ones that yeah, talk yeah, about like your appearance or like something about you yeah, yeah. that affect you the most. I yeah. feel like for the longest time, those are the ones that like really got me. And oh. I guess it's just because I probably cared about myself too much uh-huh. that little comments would affect me. I feel like the people that really aren't narcissistic are just like, they kind of ignore that. Wow. Actually, I think I fit into that category. Well, there you go. Actually, I do and and you know Danny Kim really fits into the real you know narcissistic people. Did you say he has that thing on his computer where it like literally shows the time? Oh, the, Danny uh, Kim. If you go to his house, he, there's like this whole full screen monitor with all the tweet feeds. <laughs> How does he live with that? Anyways, what's the comment that annoyed you the most? I don't even think it's mostly about like appearance. I think the ones that really get me are the ones that talk about like maybe my personality or something about uh-huh. me that make it seem like they know me or something when they don't. Okay. I remember one time. Oh, actually, there's like a rumor or something that uh-huh. you know I left a month's ex concert in the middle of the like right in the middle of the concert. <laughs> what they think about what I like I'm trying to use Mon Sex as like oh, some sort of like for clout or something. I can relate to that. Totally. And I left before the encore because of traffic. And also my it's because someone was driving me. Yeah. What was your fourth one? Caring? I caring. Think? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So how do you after that, how are, you, like, yeah, caring, how are you, you know? caring? I feel like I'm always trying to look out for people and uh, especially if I can help someone. Uh-huh. But I like to pay for people when it comes yeah. to like, if we go out to eat or uh-huh. like, you know, get coffee or just anything. Like, Isn't that because you're just rich? That, that could help. That, oh. I feel like I'm, it's not fair if like I have all this money but I can't share it with oh, people. Not like, that I have uh, all this money, but... In a way, I, I guess. I mean, I can vouch for that because he did pay like a expensive tonkas last time uh, with Danny and I. Oh yeah. Yeah. Was that me? Yeah. It was. Yeah, that was you. Who else? Was it expensive? Was yeah, it was expensive in my standards. See, he's rich. He's rich. Oh, yeah. I don't remember because I, I, I'm like, I'm like shaking <laughs> eating this tonkasu that's like what? twenty twenty dollars per piece, and then he's like, oh, I kind of just like give him the card. <laughs> uh, so what was the next one? It was moody, moody. right? Okay, before you go on into moody, here's the tea. Oh, it's a good color. See? John. Mm, I can see why they call it moonwalk. Moon, what, moon, moon, whatever? Moonwalk. Why are you moody? I have mood swings like all the time. Really? I can be happy in one second, but literally, because I'm always in my head. Uh-huh. So I can think about one small thing. Even if it happened like in the past, uh-huh. suddenly I'll become like quiet and like don't like don't touch me, don't talk to me. Really? Especially in the morning. I'm like not a morning person. So you're not in a good mood now. 
Right now, too, I can't tell now because I woke up really early. Okay. It's kind of like, not necessarily morning, but like when I wake up around that time. Uh -huh. like, don't bother me, don't touch me. And at home, it's fine. But I noticed it was a lot, a lot of it happened when we went to KCON LA mm -hmm. and we were exploring like Beverly Hills and all that. Mm -hmm. I am from California, so I'm like not really interested in all mm -hmm. that, but I had to be with them because I'm the one that speaks English. Yeah. So they'll be like, oh my god, let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. But I'm just like, oh god. Uh, so like in the middle of a trip, I was kind of just like, in that like, don't talk to me. Uh, yeah, second one, perfectionist. So I'm very picky when it comes to, uh, especially when it comes to my work, like uh -huh. what I put out on the internet, I'm very particular about, like for example, like recently, mm -hmm. um, I got contacted by like this editing company. Oh, you know, we know you are really busy, so how about you send your footage to us to edit? And I wanted to test them out because I thought about finding, uh, hiring an editor. Yeah. I like got back the footage and I was just, uh -huh. this is like the war. Like it's not, because it has to have like Eddie's Honmat, like it has to have Eddie's Honmat, like it has to have my like, like touch. Omar, Omar. Oh, you know, I put a lot of zoom into my video, a lot of, yeah, yeah. I'm very particular about things like that. like. Uh -huh. Way the way certain things are cut or edited, and like the certain music you put. Okay. So when it comes to my work, and like not just that, but like timing what I upload, mm -hmm. it has to be at a certain time. For Instagram pictures, mm -hmm. if I p take a picture, well, like I won't want to upload it because, like, it's just not the right timing. It has to be the right timing for me. The, the viewers can't know what the timing they know, is. But I know that's what's important. <laughs> that's not a perfectionist. That's like an Eddieist. You that's know? being anal. <laughs> and that is me. Last one. Observational. So what can you tell about me? You? Yeah. What um, is David? Like? Oh, or like... Yeah, Sojuki. Oh, I need to sip some tea. Or... I see something now, yes I... I feel like you want to gain as much as possible with as little work as possible. <laughs> like, you expect like, the sponsors and all that, but like, you're really lazy when it comes to like, actually producing the videos. Oh my god. You're just like, let me just do the bare minimum. What gave you that? Bula, yeah, That's not observational, <laughs> that's like being a... I don't know, Jumjing. Yeah. I'm, I'm legit, look at the little lamp that I have here. Like, judging you. But like, <laughs> yeah. again, my, when I say observation, it's all very, like... Like I said earlier, I'm very in my head. Like, so. in general, why are you, like, observational? I think most people are, it's just they don't want to admit it, like, whether you want to call it observational or judgy or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I'm all, I always, like, I'm watching people, mm -hmm. trying to figure people out. What you're saying is, like, a lot of people are judgmental. Uh, is it everyone? Mm -hmm. to some, even if they say that they're not, mm -hmm. you know, to some degree, people are going to judge others. Because oh. isn't that, like, a human thing? Oh. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> what shots are fine? I don't know. People are sensitive about these. They things. are. They realize that's yeah. why you don't say it. Yeah, yeah. Right. And on to the next segment. What is that your transition? <laughs> Perfectionist. It's called Kunangto. So it's basically recent talk. What, what have you been up to these days? What's your like thing these days? I'm trying to work on my brand mm. that I'm trying to launch. And uh, oh, because I'm funding everything myself. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. I don't have like Tuja or anything. Wow. So and I don't want to do like crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, to, in a way, it's almost like crowdfunding, this pre-order. Like, yeah, I get yeah. the money beforehand, then yeah, so I can yeah. pay the manufacturer, but it could okay how we so. My lip softening set, everything is rolling along. We found a new factory that's getting just new bottles. What we're really hoping is for April. Or just, like, hanging out with my friends. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you hang out with your friends? I, we tend to just do the same, like, go meet for lunch, have mm -hmm. coffee, and then go home, and that's it. Next segment is BTS time. You know what BTS is? Hot Cousin Greenland or Hot Cousin No. Well, it's Big T Sir. Big T what? <laughs> sir? Big T Sir. Big T Sir? It's Big T. Like we have Big T, you know. And Sir means like uh, spilling the tea, literally in sorry, Korea. Uh, when, you, when you're with your friends, like, mm, oh, buddy, sorry, put oh, about okay. And it's like, uh, like spill the tea. Oh, that's learning. the kind of stuff I need to learn. I, I am totally ignorant on the beauty scene. Uh, like I don't know what's going uh, on there. <clears throat> Would you have any like beauty related tea? Beauty related tea? Yeah, like some things people don't know that are going behind the scenes. In America, mm -hmm. there's like this whole they call it drama get in. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there was all the issues. Maybe you might have even have heard a little bit about it what? with like James Charles yeah, and like yeah. all that. I don't think we've had anything like that in Korea or anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's all very much behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. There's it's been like this trend recently where yeah. it's like people will spill the tea about what happens behind the scenes when mm -hmm. it comes to like companies working with like influencers. Mm -hmm. Like there have been accusations that companies will pay influencers to you know talk bad about certain brands oh, really? and like i like this brand but this brand i would never really yeah uh, so they're getting like endorsements for talking bad about, bad other, about that, other that's brands. been alleged but you know it can't be confirmed because it's oh. kind of like so extra 
you can get like especially these days mm-hmm. instagram like instagram is like where it's at because mm-hmm. it's easier than youtube but mm-hmm. you can get paid like depending on your numbers you can get paid like twenty thousand thirty thousand dollars for posts what depending on your following so do you have any like other people in the k beauty scene or whatever and you've heard like a like huge amount of money that you've oh of course like idok 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 for like a breath a video for one video huh. Oh my god. Can you tell me the brand? <laughs> what did the person have to do in the video? They just made, I think, a get ready with me. And that's Iro? Oh. Because this person has such a huge following. Those are normal numbers in the industry, I think. Really? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Why did I start K-pop? Ever since I started working with brands and like, I'll ask people, like, how much does it cost to make things? Yeah. But I think cushion each other, the cushion, the foundation. Mm-hmm. It'll cost like two to four dollars to make one, but yeah. they'll charge you like fifty dollars mm-hmm. for a cushion. So mm-hmm. um, they have a huge margin profit. Right, right, right. Beauty is one of those industries where the margin basically ripping you off. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it all depends on the name. It can be like I've seen places where it, they're using the same factory and everything, uh, but depending on the name that's attached to the brand, uh, the price difference is huge. What? Same factory, same mm. ingredients, and everything, and they're just like branding it differently. Yeah, you know, like the sheet masks in Korea, they're all from like the same factory. It's just depending on the brand, they change the price. Oh, they, but they, they cost like cents to make. Oh, wow, shit. Oh, God, I feel so bad for giving it. Like, really, this is not really tea. It's this just, is tea. For me. It's just, I, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know this. Okay, well, now they know. The difference in makeup marketing between America and Korea. Tell me about skin tones or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing. But I feel like the amount of product that's available in Korea is like a massive. Like there's so many options. Uh-huh. When you talk about skin tone, yeah, there's like not that many co- when it comes to like foundation. Uh-huh. The brands are going a little bit, you know, wider in like their skin tone ranges. But I think at the end of the day, they're always going to be marketing towards like Asians or Koreans uh-huh. within a certain skin tone range. Uh-huh. If I can describe in the way that I see like Sephora, Sephora is uh-huh. the, you know, makeup store yeah, in yeah. America. Yeah. The di- main difference that I see is like in Korea, they're very much about enhancing, mm. like even if you're using things like glitter and all that, they always, when it comes to like colors and ranges and tones, right. it's all very like marketed towards people like us or yeah, whatever, yeah. very like fa- fair, lighter, like more warm skin right. tones or whatever. There's like warm and cool, but they take into consideration a lot about things that are child Oreo mm-hmm. with like Cor- Koreans or Asians or whatever. Yeah. In America, it's more about like, oh, be, you know, live your best life, like mm-hmm. artistry, makeup, like mm-hmm. it's whatever, makeup is makeup. We can mm-hmm. wash off in a day, which makes sense. But I feel like personally for me, it's easier to shop in Korea mm-hmm. because they cater more towards what will look better for mm-hmm. people like that look like us. Yeah. But in um, America, I feel like it's harder because mm-hmm. there's so much variety yeah. that it's hard to, because people ask me like, oh, I don't know what looks good on me. Oh. And also there's that thing about, um, America's not wanting to be like judgmental, so uh-huh. they'll be like, oh, you know, this might look good, but you know, whatever you want, like just oh, whatever, okay, okay, whatever okay. makes you happy. But oh. I feel like it makes it harder for people to shop. Uh-huh. Um, that's why it's so hard, I think, for K beauty brands, other than skincare. Skincare, like, they have a huge following internationally, mm-hmm. but I think that's why it's hard for color cosmetics to uh, move over to America because. Yeah. It's just never, I don't think there's enough experience for Korean manufacturers. Uh, like I know Laneige um, and Innisfree tried to release like foundations that have more skin tone ranges in America, which I guess makes sense, but yeah. also they don't have that much experience with yeah, people yeah. that are like medium to deeper skin tones. Right. That When I watch like American Beauty reviews mm. and they're reviewing foundations that have deeper skin tones. Mm. When it comes to deep skin tones, there's a lot to take, there's undertones, certain factors that yeah. I think Korean manufacturers are just gonna, it's gonna take a while for them yeah. to integrate, but you know, when they're trying to move over to America, mm. they like, mm. this, this doesn't look right, like, yeah, it's not dark yeah, enough. Yeah, they don't have the data. They don't have the mm. data. I think mm. that's what they need to work on. Mm. But I think it's hard when, you know, people on the internet are always like ragging on them, like, what the hell is this? Yeah, I know. Personally, as from a business standpoint, mm-hmm. if they try to move over to America, but they still don't try to improve their skin tone ranges, mm-hmm. it's still like, I can understand where they're coming from because mm-hmm. it costs a lot of money yeah, yeah. to do like research, yeah, but also yeah. to make the shade. K skincare is becoming a popular trend in America most because it's seen as cutesy. How do you feel about the integration? With KB, it's more about looking like young and fresh and right. all that. But in America, it's more about glam and like mm-hmm. looking more mature, like older than mm-hmm. you are. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's where the main difference is. So a lot of people think that it's more, especially like Yennare, when yeah. K-Beauty started to have a presence in America, there's like Tony Moly and all yeah. that. They have like the cute like packaging or yeah. whatever. So I feel like people are still stuck on that. Ah. But these days, they'll be, I guess, a little bit more cuter looking mm-hmm. than maybe American cosmetics. Mm-hmm. But um, 
it depends on the brand. The aesthetic is changing, I think, mm-hmm. to be a little bit more internationally like pleasing, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Beauty videos. Like you recommend like this this and that for like each like makeup and stuff. I don't know if this is the right question. So Edward's ultimate pick, only exclusive on yes. Tea Time with David. Or my channel. Or your channel. You'll have to like look through all his videos. I'm giving you a condensed version of if you don't have time, just buy these items and you will never fail. Now this is, you know, I told you like, I tried so many. Okay. But this is one that every time someone asks me to recommend, the, the first one that I think of. The uh, Etude House Double Lasting Foundation. We, in the beauty community we call it a dupe. A which dupe. is like a very similar product but for a cheaper price compared mm. to one that's more like either more famous or more expensive. Mm. There's that brand called Estee Lauder that's quite expensive. It's like a department store brand, but Etude House has like their own version of it uh-huh. called Double Lasting. Because the names are very similar. Uh-huh. Double Lasting and uh, Double Wear. Oh, anyway, okay. uh, it's very cheap, but uh, it's one of those foundations that's quite... Like you can sweat or it, it stays on your skin. Mm. So instead of buying the Estee Lauder one, you can you could just replace it with the, the Etude House, House one, one and it, it would work perfectly. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's famous for a reason. It's one oh, of their best sellers already. Okay. Yeah. So that's why what I'm saying I'm kind of like eh, about it because I feel like it's one that everyone knows already. Uh huh. Mm. Well, still like people don't know a lot about like Hey Beauty. Can you get your hands on that in America? Yeah, cause it's again it's so famous that a lot of online sellers have it. Okay. And it's not that expensive. So. And the ultimate number two is. It's a lipstick from Maybelline. It's mm-hmm. their... What do you mean? It's like ink glass, stay matte, stay ink glass, whatever. Well, you can put <laughs> a picture here. You put it on, it dries. Oh. Of course, it's only for people that wear lipstick. Uh-huh. But you can eat like topoki, you can eat like oily stuff, and it still stays on. It's actually hard to get off. Well, can't you eat topoki with any kind of lipstick? Because it's red anyways. <laughs> so... I have... <laughs> no, what if your lipstick is pink or something? Well, it's still red and... Ahaya! Ahaya! No. <laughs> you know, you've seen girls on either like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so that's the reason why they're eating like that. Of course. So they, I thought they, they were trying to be sexy. What's your idea of sexy? <laughs> anyway. So yeah. those those two. like That I can think of, right? Oh, there you go. You have the like, ultimate two recommendations. I bet they're going to all sell out or after not. this video. <laughs> oh, the, the funny thing about my channel is that a lot of people that watch me don't wear makeup. Oh, really? A lot of them will be like, oh, I watch your channel for your editing or like, oh, your, your humor. Oh, I've seen that... The K beauty scene, there's a lot of like collabs. Like mm-hmm. you make a lot of videos with each other, and you do like a lot of makeup crossovers and stuff. What I'm curious about is like, are you actually really friends with them? I often feature people because I tend to be more talkative, and uh-huh. like my personality comes out more when uh, people are on camera with me. When yeah. I'm alone, it's a little bit different. I'm just like talking to myself. Yeah, that's why I often have people on my channel. But there are a lot of people that uh have been on my channel that I don't talk to anymore, or they don't talk to me, or. They were just like on my channel just to use me. Oh, you can be all like guessing who's like, who's used Edward. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, how do you feel about those kind of people? For me, in a way, it's kind of a two-way street because mm. in a, I'm using them as well for uh, content because okay. I need people to be on my channel, yeah, right? Yeah. So I don't mind promoting them. I don't mind helping them. It's just after our collaboration, if they get followers, mm-hmm. it's up to them how they what they do with those yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah. Like, if they want to continue making content, uh-huh. if it's boring and the people yeah. that follow them because of me end up not watching them more, that's uh-huh. their fault. Uh-huh. You know, I'm no, just but, helping that. But in a personal level, like, if you collab with someone and they never get back to you, they never, like, want to talk to you again mm-hmm. or never care about you, mm-hmm. it's, it means that you're used, right? right You've right, been right. used. And how do you feel about that situation? What are your feelings? I'll be, like, annoyed, but then I've been so numb to, like, this whole thing that uh-huh. I'm just like, oh, I'll just hope so. Oh, really? Yeah, like I... That's pretty mature. So has that changed your attitude towards like collabs and stuff? Kind of. I'm kind of like, uh... I still think about like, oh, because I also need content too. Uh-huh. Like if I can help the person out yeah. um, and I feel like it makes sense for them, uh-huh. then yeah, I'll go into collaboration. But I'm definitely more hyper aware about like if I want to collab with certain people or mm. not. If it's about my channel, I'm more like anal about it. If it's mm-hmm. their channel, like, girl, yeah, if you need me, then I will. <laughs> like, whatever. So that's what like you're doing video, right now. <laughs> right? But I feel like we've hung out a few times and it makes uh, sense. Yeah. And our, I feel like our personalities like sync well. Oh, oh really? Chemi? Chemi? Chemi, chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. chemistry I'm very about chemistry. Mm. 
So if the camera shoots off, I won't I won't upload it. There, I've filmed so many videos with people mm-hmm. where I'm like watching the footage and I'm like, God, this uh, is terrible. Then I'll, I'll never upload it. Uh, I, I'm pretty surprised you aren't like super angry with them. Like I would be super disappointed. Like, yeah. I thought you were my friend, <laughs> but you betrayed me. You just used me for the numbers. Yeah, no, I'll be quiet about it. I'll, I'll, I'll be mad. Oh, so you're that kind of guy that, that's like, you don't express it, but in the inside you're like, yeah, oh, yeah I'm never going to see you. Yeah, it's very, but it's very much all my face. Like I'm very bad at hiding my emotions. Uh-huh. So, like, if I'm annoyed, I'll be like, especially oh. if I'm around that person. Have you ever confronted that situation? Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, where? More where? recent memory. Um, I thought we were friends. Uh-huh. You know, they made it seem like they cared about me or whatever. And uh-huh. then, you know, because I also want to help this person out, you yeah. know, help them build their brand yeah. or whatever. By brand, I mean channel. Uh, but no, they, it looks like they, they didn't really care about me. And then. How'd you get to know that? Um, it's just that it was very obvious to me that they only called for me when they needed help or this person made it obvious that they didn't really care that they would only ask like, oh, when is our video coming out? Uh, but then I got so turned off by that. Like yeah. I stopped talking to them. You know, we met at like a heshik and I was very salty then. So I was trying to make it obvious, but my friends were like, why? They didn't know the situation. Uh-oh. So they're like, what? Boy, are we going to like, like, you know, talk to them. But I'm just like, you know, no, no, thank you. So if you're watching that person, <laughs> No, it's you. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. Uh, one, one message to that person. Message? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I hope you're doing well in whatever you're doing. Which is probably nothing. <laughs> actually, no, they're, they're, actually, they're actually doing stuff, but it's just that, you know, it's not doing so well for them. Oh. Because that's the thing. I, I, I wanted them to do well because mm. I saw potential in them, but mm. they decided to just... That was good tea. That was yeah. literally good tea. It, and you said it was a recent one, right? So this situation more was more recent, but I this person was on my channel for it's been a while now. Oh, okay. Uh, that that's some more hints there. <laughs> so on the- go 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 do your detective stuff. Uh, that was good enough tea. Uh, our tea has gone cold now. Anyways, thank you for watching Tea Time with David with our special guest, the hottest ever of Eddie here. Uh, look forward to more interactions with us. I want to get makeup done by Eddie. <laughs> Oh, honey, it's happening. You want to come back? Yeah. I already started planning. Really? Yes. Really? You already have a plan for me. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, and Danny, too. Hopefully. Oh, honey, it has to be a dual sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Both of you. Oh, yeah. We've done one before, and that was pretty... Uh, Good, eh? Yeah, yeah, that was oh, pretty... Oh, honey. No, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. Mm, okay. So, look forward to that. Go subscribe to his channel. Probably you're all subscribed anyways. And if you have any last words? Me? Yeah. Um, stay awesome, Gotham. Just kidding, that's not my, <laughs> that's someone else's. Okay. Just, bye. Bye. And yo, bye.